All right, yo, we got Sky Legend bottom left versus Carnage top right rematch. Carnage is GDI this time. So, so far, both players have won from bottom left. And this is technically the tiebreaker, although bottom left position is a little bit better, so it's not quite the perfect tiebreaker, but good enough. Top right's going for APC NGs. Let me finish rolling this joint up and then we'll see what bottom left is doing. Got the NGs going the typical sneaky deke route. So, uh,. Looks like Purple is paying attention to see where Gold's imps are. So he has a rough idea that this is mostly black. Up until at least right here. So now this guy probably might see. Uh, ooh, this is going to be crucial. Crucial moment right here. If he gets this MCV before the war's down, he wins the game. Uh, ooh, ooh, he see, ooh. Oh, well, he sold the wrong ref, but his discman got a little bit lucky and got those uh, shots off and killed the engineer and saved this ref. So that that was that was real good by Sky. A little bit of luck involved, but uh, Purple still made him sell one of his refs, which is not really a big deal because he's making a ref anyway. So he's just you know, so top right. Did a good recovery. He's got four harvesters, a, a war, already made a radar. Looks like he forgot to make his tower before he sold his radar, so purple is not going to be able to make Sam's this game, which is going to be a bitch. That shit is no bueno. Got the APC for the squish. Gold could have got that harv right there. That would have been a pretty good exchange. But uh, looks like Purple's got 61 kills. And Gold, Goldilocks, has 28, 29 kills. Gold has seven harves. He's got some defense going. This disc is not going to get shit. Not going to get shit, bro. This disc might get something. He's got the double dizzer now. Now some shit might start happening. Mmm. Purple's got to take action quick. Because every few seconds some more titans are going to pop out. Ooh, okay. Smart, smart. Real smart. Real fucking sexy attack. That's sexy. That's like if I paused it and just stared at the screen for a minute and then unpaused it and decided what I was going to do for my attack, I would have done that. That was good. Smart move by gold to send titans out. So the idea behind that is that the second their attack dies, you immediately is like, you know, you don't have anything to defend for the longest period until the next attack comes. So if you send out immediately, then it's uh, more chance of getting attack up here before he gets defense.
And Cambry made a good point. It's uh, not really fair to do bottom left versus top right. Nice one shot. Because Sky is basically still in the game quite a bit. And uh, Perp and Terp up here. Perp and Terp and Goldilocks. Smoke the doobie, watch the game, eat the snackies, all the same. So gold's got a little bit of pressure going, purple's trying to keep the pressure on, gold has got kind of a funky ass base, going to be a little hard to defend, all sprawled out. Uh, kitty booba take a poop. Yeah. Got the second disruptor coming. So purple's doing good keeping the pressure going, but... Purple's just uh, a little bit far from all his expansions. About halfway through his money. Oh, I missed it, man. Purple got the ref. And he's going to one-shot. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, snappy boo-boo. Nice attack by Purple. I'd say Purple should definitely win this game at this point. But, uh, you know, gold is pretty good at the comebacks, as we've seen. Gold's got the ref. He's got a lot of harves. So as soon as Gold gets like another one or two refs, all these harves are just going to be flowing like just pumping. And he's going to be able to get back in the game. But this is a crucial point right now. So Purple, even though he's just got this little tiny shit attack, he's sending it just to get any pressure possible down here to slow these refs from being built. Gold or purple just sold a power plant to get money to speed up this disruptor because he realizes or this MK because he realizes how crucial it is to get that attack down here before these refs get down. And also the MK can guard this tib and keep gold from harvesting it, and then gold is broke, and then gold is no money, and gold can't you know produce more units. So these five titans right here are pretty much the bare minimum. Six titans now to defend this MK. The problem is you got these titans coming down. Got the disruptor coming. I'd say gold is good gamed. This this is it. I do not see how gold can recover from this, but I would love to see the recovery. So uh, purple is attacking conservatively, just kind of hanging out right now. See, gold is not harvest in this tib so the unit production in gold's base is just going to come to a, a complete screeching halt for the most part other than the one dollar and 99 cents he's getting from this this little area down here Bombing that engineer sealed the deal. Oh, oh. Well, that, that is rough.
That is rough. So... Gold's doing good, man. This MK is just OP. Ooh, ooh. These Titans are fucked. These Titans are so fucked, they're like, Help! Help me, bro! I can't do it! So... Is gold teched? I've not been paying attention, man, but uh, it seems like gold is not teched. It seems like this is just going to be a bitch. I don't see gold winning it, man. It's going to be a slow, methodical death. Like, Goldilocks could not do it, man. Perp and Terp, though, busted out the Flava Flav on the situation. You know what I'm saying? Going for the harf hunt. Smart move. Little light post right there behind a tree. Little invisible light post. Better kill that alley. Make it go boom. Get the light, bro. Get the light. Whatever. Sometimes players forget to get the light. You guys gotta forgive them. Gold's doing good by cutting off the tib, the harv hunting. If gold can get enough titans up here in this area of the map before the MK is healed, then we might see the methodical burn be even slower. But I think the MK is going to get here and just smash these doggies out, and then these are going to be late, and then it's gonna just not going to be enough, and then gold's going to lose. Gold's going to lose. Oh, I missed it, bro. Something sniped the war up here. And I totally fucking missed it. That's alright. The MK is just, uh... Keeping purple in the game. Plus, it's a veteran map, so that might be a star MK soon. And then, that is big trouble for gold. I say gold's doing good given the situation, but uh, I just don't see it happening, man. I just don't see gold winning. He's just, you know, he's going to run out of this tip. His harvest are traveling all over to get the money soon. He's just, he's just not got enough. I just don't think, I don't think mustard can muster it up. So we got some Harv Bombs coming up here. I don't think they're really going to make it anywhere. They're actually going to feed that MK and star that MK up even sooner. We are about to see a star MK, lads. Looks like the Harv did not get close enough to the war to do maximum damage. That's seriously got to be a star MK any second now. Oh, that's star MK. 
No? It's not a Star MK. Maybe it is now. Well, I think it was a Star MK like at the very end there, maybe. But we don't know. But that was pretty, pretty decent little game. Just for you, you know. Don't forget, you guys are special.